the Volze Müller map. Created in the year 1507 by German cartographer Martin Volze Müller, this 40 square foot giant was the first document in history to use the name America to describe the New World and honor one of its first explorers, Americo Vespucci. At a cost of $10 million, the Library of Congress brought the map, the only surviving copy of what many call America's birth certificate, to the United States to share it with the public. But to put the Volze Mueller map on display while keeping it pristine and protected, the library's preservationists needed expert help. So they teamed up with scientists and engineers at the Commerce Department's National Institute of Standards and Technology to design and build a state-of-the-art encasement for the map. We have a lot of respect for their engineers, their ingenuity, and we knew that they'd be able to get this job done and get it done in time. The task was a familiar one for NIST. Twice before, first in 1951 and again in 2003, NIST designed and constructed cases to protect the Charters of Freedom, the three most cherished documents in American history, the Declaration of Independence, the U.S. Constitution, and the Bill of Rights. For the Volze Mueller map, NIST engineers had to think big, six times bigger, in fact, than the cases they created for the Charters of Freedom. The map's new home was machined from two solid blocks of aluminum, which then were sealed with a combination of rubber O-rings and a sheet of two-layer laminated glass. Valves allowed the map's caretakers to fill the case with inert protective argon gas and flush harmful oxygen out. Before delivery to the Library of Congress, the Volze Mueller case was rigorously tested. Finally, on December 3, 2007, and after a year and a half of work, the NIST encasement and its new tenant were brought together. It was a moment of great satisfaction for the NIST engineers. From the standpoint of NIST, we, we are allowed to actually utilize the skills we, we utilize every day in creating these world-class, unique, one-of-a-kind instruments. Today, thanks to the successful team effort between NIST and the Library of Congress, the Volze Mueller map the historical treasure that spent most of its first 500 years hidden from view can now be enjoyed by the people of the land it helped name.